and introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 72.5 kilograms and trains under Paul and Connor Birch out of Tribal MMA. With an amateur record of three wins for five defeats, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Ryan the Natural Levy. And introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 72.5 kilograms and trains under Pasha Stoiler out of Southside Training Center with an amateur record of two wins for two defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Jesse the Axe Murderer! The natural Ryan Levy in the blue. The Axe Murderer, Jesse Murray. Fighting out of the red corner to near Nathan Cage side with Carl. No, Carl, it's been fantastic thus far. Oh, it's been a phenomenal card so far. Uh, Jesse with the name of the Axe Murder, he's got a big name to live up to there. Let's see what he's got. He does indeed, taking a leaf out of uh, the legend Vandalay Silva, originally known as the Axe Murderer. Jesse Murray looking to bring the heat inside the cage on Ryan Levy. Levy looking to faint his way in. And land some of that uh, boxing of his own car. Ryan doing an awesome job now. He's just, just out of uh, out of Jesse's range. He's just leaning back a little bit, coming back, popping his shots. Awesome counter strike right now. And, and steps up to, to initiate the strikes as well. Well, you mentioned that uh, Jesse Murray did some work with uh, the Black Panther in preparation for this bout. And no doubt having Uncle Dez in your corner. Lands a big right hand down the middle. That's how we finished Dario Sturbach in his last fight. Wow. Nice push. Ryan, Ryan looks to be a little bit crisper striker in this fight so far. But Jesse's still having his own moments. As I say that, he lands some big shots now. Digging to the body and the head. It's that right hand that's proving a problem for Ryan, but beautiful head movement from the natural. Ryan trying to go back now to control that distance. He needs to separate, stay a little bit further out. He's got that reach. He needs to stay out of that range and be more like a sniper. He can't get into a brawl with a guy like Jesse. Oh, it's a oh. beautiful uppercut there, T. That was fantastic. Right on time. Right okay. uppercut lands flush for Ryan. Clean. Bent the nose back of Jesse. Ooh. Both guys throwing right hands there. Both guys happy to feel it out in the feet and, and not look for takedowns yet, T. Yeah, indeed they are. And you can you can see the increase in experience with both these guys. Eight fights for Ryan, five fights for Jesse. Both these guys taking their time. They're in no rush because every move counts, Cole, as uh, <laughs> the natural sliding, gliding out of the way of that favoured right hand of Jesse Murray. You definitely don't want to waste any energy in there. For an hey, annual hey. subscription at ufcfightpass.com slash sign up. Round two upon us here at Eternal 69. And Ryan doing a good job. He's, he's back in that range again. He's not getting too close. Nice question mark kick tear from Ryan. I'm not sure what advice he got from his corner, but if it was me, I'd be telling him to stay out of range, use his striking, use that to reach to his ability to his advantage. You can hear uh, Jesse's corner tell him they're happy with what he's doing. They like those leg kicks to set up his punches. Ryan is pouring away with that jab. You see him just mixing it up that timing. It's a slow jab, slow jab, getting his hand to come down. When his hand comes down, he lands a right hand over the top or a left hand. Yeah, he's incredibly technical, and you, you, you can see that uh, although Jesse, when he, when he bum-rushes him, he has success, but that's the problem. 
when do you rush it? When do you rush the natural? There's, there's no perfect time, especially if he's got to keep you on the outside, Kyle. No, exactly. If he rushes at the wrong time and Ryan's got room, move to, room to move back, and he misses his shots. And when you miss your big shots, that takes a lot of energy out of you. Absolutely. Well, that's a change of the game plan for Ryan. That'll keep Jesse on his toes as he shoots unsuccessful. He'll continue to strike from a distance. Will the natural Ryan leave it? Ryan having a lot more success in this round. He's able to stay out of range. Jesse needs to go back to giving more control in the, in the cage and pushing Ryan's back towards the cage before he explodes in. He can't explode out and open like that. Ryan's got too much room to move. Ryan now double underhooks, doing an awesome job. Jesse, good getting that going back to 50-50. He's able to dig that elbow in nice and tight there. It's an advantage of being a smaller guy sometimes. And this is better from Jesse Murray. As you said, Cole, lower center of gravity. Can he take Ryan down, though? That is, that is the question. Oh, Jesus, he's got to watch those say, knees. He has to be careful. <laughs> that head position is off the angle there. Ideally, you'd want that head position underneath his chin. If he's just trying to cook him against the cage. Nice shot there from Ryan. You see him get the joy of those hands. And again, Jesse, that head position, just be wary of that. One of those knees could sneak up there without him seeing it and really turn his lights out. No doubt would have earned themselves a glass of proper number 12 <laughs> after this one, Kyle. Round three, and they are straight back into it. They're yeah, wasting no time again in the third round. Both guys should be fighting with the hesit hesitancy of winning this fight. Both guys should be going this. We're one apiece. We have to, you know, who, who wants it the most? Well, let's wait and see. The axe murderer. Oh, he's nice. staying I've right in the pocket. The My apologies, Cole. You're right, T. Question mark kick by Ryan. Ryan's really found his groove now. Yeah, he's really loosened up in round three, hasn't he? He has. He seems relaxed. He seems more comfortable. Just be careful while well back with his hands down. Well, we saw it in the last fight with Liam Brewster, Jesse Murray, putting his own display of reckless abandonment on, <laughs> on show here tonight. As he closes the distance on Ryan Levy, but it's the natural that has control up against the cage. Yeah, you see that head position where Ryan's got a better head position. He's got his head right underneath Jesse's chin. That's a much better position. If Jesse can do that when he has Ryan against the cage, he'll have much more success of trying to take him down. See, Jesse's, uh, Ryan's head's not in a bad position. He can't be neat. It's hard for Jesse to punch him there because he's right next to his own head. You can hear nice. Pasha in the corner of Jesse Murray. He's got to move. He's got to get off the fence, car. Yeah, he can't stay there. This is, this is just racking up points for, for Ryan here in the judges' eyes. He's landing strikes at will here. Since he looks to lift him up and slam him. Jesse did an awesome job of getting his leg out of there. Great defense from Jesse there. Straight back into the clean show. And here we see that once again, Ryan's got that underhook, head in the right position, right under his chin, pushing Jesse up nice and tall against the cage. It's hard for Jesse to move. Jesse needs to dig those underhooks and really spin hard off that cage. Easier said than done, of course, T. Oh, indeed it is. And Ryan, he's making it hard for Jesse Murray here. He is giving him absolutely no room to move. Landing strikes at will. He goes body, body, head, body, body, head. Knee to the head, Kyle. <laughs> and Jesse Murray starting to cover up now. Flying knee from Levy. Yeah, Question right. mark kick there, and he has found his rhythm. The more this fight goes on, and they will walk each other down, Kyle, <laughs> for the final 10 seconds. Both guys want this fight bad. Who wants it the hardest most? Big right hand lands for Murray. I think Ryan's winning this. Oh, beautiful. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of back and forth action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision.
All three judges score this contest 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner, Jesse, the Axe Murderer Murray.